Alan, you have seen the movie Window Seat. It is the first all AI feature ever made. You reviewed it on Film Threat. Uh, so uh, I'm going to bring up the review, but can you tell us about this movie Window Seat? I am intrigued that yeah. this entire movie was made with AI. Yeah, I mean, that's the why. This is the reason why we're talking about it today. Uh, it's It was made by Huru Johnson, or should I say guided by and produced by Huru Johnson. Right. But this uh, window seat is the first all AI feature, all meaning the script was written in AI, the voice performances were written in, uh, were performed in AI, and all the visuals uh, were done in AI. And, um, and it's also, it uses the AI that we all have access to. So it's basically chat GPT, um, Dolly, and uh, there's also, I, I think it's called Runway Version 2, which is the uh, AI animation. And um, look, uh, I'll, I'll say this. That's Sharknado. Um, yeah. Here we yeah, go. We I'll, see yeah, there it is. I'll say this. You, you can kind of look at it there. Those are the two lead male characters, but they don't always look like that throughout the movie. Um, we're not quite there yet when it comes to AI, especially off-the-shelf AI. But what I appreciated about the film is that it's... Uh, I appreciate the effort that went into it. Just the idea that a, that one of us, an indie filmmaker, uh, just decided, hey, let's see if we can do it. And, and they did it. Um, I think in terms of its quality, you know, there's a story there. Uh, it's about a guy who's on an airplane uh, with his wife, uh, Millie, Tom and Millie. Uh, while in the flight, uh, a scandal breaks out at his company. Uh, so, some chats, some secret chats about uh, the women women's uh, roles at the company got leaked and now he's in big trouble. And at the same time, the guy on the right there uh, or the guy on the left, sorry, is Tom's bully from childhood. And so uh, the Tom, the bully is trying to kind of uh, intimidate Tom as well as make out with his wife, Millie. Um, and then there's just some weird elements where the pilot fakes, pretends to almost crash the plane. Um, and it just gets weird from there. But I, uh, you know, I bring this up to say, you know, someone did it. Someone was the first. Here so it is. Is it bad? Is it just yeah, bad? bad? Yeah, like it's, it's bad. bad. But is it yeah. bad? And, and, and I don't mind saying I don't mind saying it's bad because the guy who who produced it didn't write it. <laughs> it's Chat GPT who wrote it. So, so Chat GPT um, wrote it. It's animated because obviously the people look fake. Yeah, in the, and and in it's this. inconsistent too because uh, you know I don't know I don't I dabbled a little bit with the animation AI and uh, it's not like you can get the same image over and over again. Uh, there, a lot of work went into creating a single face, but in throughout the film, the face kind of changes and morphs. Well, you um, gave it a five out of, you gave oh, it a five out of 10. You gave five, it a five out of 10. I gave it a higher score than normal just because I appreciated the effort that went into it. Um, mm -hmm. and, and only that. Um, <laughs> there, there's a part where uh, the pilot almost, basically as a joke, decides to pretend to crash the plane, and everyone on the uh, plane screams, and it's it's very like cartoon. Everyone, all the nuns who are screaming, morph into a kind of cartoon versions of the nuns. Um, and uh, but but I think the biggest thing is he, the emotional performance here is just not there. Um, the, the, the script itself. And I think if you've ever used chat GPT, you realize uh, there's not a lot of soul in, in, in the words that it spews. There's not right, a lot of soul right, in right. The dialogue. And, and certainly with the animation, you know, we've, we've all played video games and watched cut scenes and there's not a lot of soul behind the eyes of, of the people in it. Uh, right. AI just doesn't know how to emote yet. So yeah. you're not getting an emotional performance. You know, you'll get like uh, someone yelling, someone feeling happy, someone feeling sad or angry, but that's you know that's all programmed. So um, this idea of using AI yeah, efforts there, you know, I think if you want it, you know, if you're a filmmaker who has zero money, you know, this is always a route to go when it comes to making a movie. It's just you know the quality is just the quality will always be as good as the technology at this point. Right. Well, look, you gave it a five out of 10. You said you were being generous. I think it's interesting as an experiment. I would want to see it. But um, I realize also we have way too many ads on the Film Threat website. I got to <laughs> apologize to people for that. Look, we got to pay the bills some way. Um, yeah. But yeah, so go to filmthreat.com and read Alan's review of Window Seat. 
And I personally want to see it just out of curiosity. Yeah.